Hey guys, Grant here for dropshipdownunder.com.au. Today I'm going to be doing a Shopify explained video for beginners, full run through. Let's dive in. All right, before we do get started, if you do like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos because we do bang them out all the time. And we've got some great free training on our website if you want to learn how to build your own successful dropshipping business right here in Australia as well. The link down in the description below if I can spit it out. So I wanted to do this video today to really give a good run through for beginners on what Shopify is, sort of how it works and why we use it. And mainly because there is so many really different building platforms out there for building websites at the moment. They're, all, they're always springing up. There are, there are some other good ones, of course, but uh, Shopify is still our go-to uh, website builder. And uh, there's a number of reasons for that, but first and foremost is the simplicity of it. Uh, and that's why we teach our students to use Shopify because it really is very simple to use. Uh, but not only that, it is incredibly reliable. And even if you do have a problem with Shopify, you can get in touch with them at any time and they usually resolve the situation while you're on chat with them uh, or very soon after. So I can't really fault Shopify in that respect. They're very, very good at what they do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a screen share and for anyone that's just starting out and beginning that doesn't really know how Shopify works, where to go, what it even does, this, this video is for you. So we're going to dive into a screen share and go through everything right now. All right, so when you first log into your Shopify store, or um, oh, this is the Shopify partners, you won't see this. So let's go to my back end. We'll go to log in. So when you first log into the back end of Shopify, you'll end up on your what's called the home screen. And there's not really a lot that goes on in the home screen, to be honest. Um, oh, my internet's a bit slow. There's not really a lot that goes on with your home screen at the moment. It's sort of just giving you uh, a few ideas of what you need to do to move along with Shopify. But uh, what I really want to do is explain sort of what you're looking at when you first land here. So this is the back end of, of your website. So a lot of people, when they first log in, they're thinking, okay, well, where's my website? Where do I edit it? And I think this comes from a lot of people have a, a, a preconceived notion nowadays of, you know, what a website builder looks like. And but and this would be because a lot of the build website builders out there now have sort of like drag and drop interface where you have all of the, uh, you know, like the sections and um, tools and everything on one side, like you do in the on, on Shopify. Except on on the other side, you've got uh, the website showing itself. So you'll be dragging and dropping elements uh, and sections into the website. So it's it can be a little bit confusing, I guess, if that's what you're thinking you, you're going to have. That's not what Shopify is. It is very simple to use, but it's it's not a drag and drop builder. So I guess I'll, maybe we'll start with the building process in the beginning. So if we go to online store, give you a, a sort of a good idea of uh, what you'll be doing with each of the, the sections. So to, to actually edit the store itself and the way it looks, which is, I guess, where people first want to actually get started to sort of see if they can build something that looks nice. So when you go to online store, it's under themes here. And without confusing things too much, you can change the theme. And that would be done down here in theme library. You can go to a few different ones. You can see I've tried out a few different ones in the demo store here. And you can uh, uh, go to the theme store and, and add different ones and uh, publish them if, if you want to uh, publish them after you've customized those. But like I said, without confusing things too much, you can go to customize here. And that's, that takes us through to a different screen. And this is where you would normally see on a drag and drop builder, you would see those elements and uh, sections to drag and drop into the interface. But in Shopify, they've simplified this a lot. And, and I think it's smart uh, because it's very difficult to get lost with Shopify. If you start clicking down through these sections, so if I go back, these are all the sections that you see here on the website. So there's a header image and there's the image with the overlay. Come down to a feature collection, there's the feature collection and so on and so forth all the way down the page. So it's very difficult to get lost in Shopify. So if you look at one of these sections, you click on it, you can go in here and you've got a few different options to edit that section. and I think that you know, in one, some ways it is a little bit limiting, but in other ways it's 
you know, it's very simple to use, and that's why it's very difficult to get lost because there is a, there is only so many fields that you can edit. So I think that's smart on Shopify's part to do that. So when you come in, uh, for instance, to change this image, it's just a, a, a little toggle switch here. You can change the image, you can remove it, those sorts of things happen. So if you go back out, uh, these ones expand now. So you can see that there's, uh, for the slideshow, down a little bit further, there's an image slide, I haven't put anything here. Click on that image, and then you can edit that first image. And if you go to the next image, that would be the one underneath it so on and so forth as you as you sort of move down the page so it's sort of like a progression to go through those and a lot of people get lost here when they think okay well that's that's fine i understand that i know where to go when i'm looking at the 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 pictures and and the featured collection all of these sections i understand that how do i go in and edit all these colors and what the buttons look like and all those sorts of things well down below there's one called theme settings and that opens up this screen where you can go in and uh, look at the colors. So if we click on that, there's all the different colors for the text, all the different colors for the buttons, form fields, all of those sort of options are in the back end here. And uh, you don't have to worry about app embeds too much if you're just starting out. So uh, back to theme settings again. And this is where we add in the favicon. So that's the little icon that you see up here that Shopify have. That's where you put the uh, favicon. You can edit your checkout style here, your theme style, because a lot of themes have several different theme styles in them. So that's just the way the theme looks by default. So you can go in and change those here if you want. This one has two. We'll leave that for now. But uh, yeah, this is where you come in and change, the, say, you know, for the text as well. If you want the typography to look a little bit different for your navigation, your headings, uh, any of your uh, body text, that's all changed here in the in the theme settings as well. So as you can see, it's really simple. If you if you go into the back end here, you can add all of these different sections here as well by just simply clicking on add a section. And there's a whole list of uh, different sections that you can choose from. And different themes do have different sections. So you can test them out before you publish them. Um, you can go in and, and have a look at what sections you think you might need if you can edit that theme to look the way you want it to look with the sections that they do have then you can publish it so we won't add any right now but um well maybe we will let's add a gallery just to show you and you can see i've added a gallery oh it's been probably not a good example it's right directly underneath the other gallery so you can minimize these to clean it up a little bit so you can see where everything is so that gallery is directly underneath the other one so probably not a great spot so let's move that and if we want to move sections, it, although it's not a drag and drop builder, we don't drag them on and put them where we want them. We just drag them in the column here to, to place them where we want them. And you can see here that that's moving up the list and, and putting it in the place that we want it. So if I want it just here, I just drop it there. And you can see over here in the, in the uh, builder interface here that it's actually there. Any changes you've made, you can just press save. So if we press save on that, we can uh, see what it looks like. So if you wanted to see what this looks like as a full screen or as a mobile device over the course of when you're building the store, there's a little toggle up here. You just click on this and we can go to full screen. And then that shows us the, the full store as it would be on a full screen or on the mobile. So yeah, these, these are the basic features of what you will be looking at when you come into the back end of Shopify to do your edits uh, for the uh, the builder itself. Those I don't want to over, overwhelm you too much, so I'll leave it there for the builder. That's basically what you do when you come in and you're looking at the back end to do all those things. So if we press exit, that goes back out to the uh, home page or the theme store, uh, theme section, sorry. And there's a whole heap of other different sections that we might want to look at when we're looking at Shopify and Think of the settings here as uh, where you'd go in to edit any of the places of the store that aren't showing up on the front end that you might need to edit. So in general, information about your store, uh, getting your payments all connected, editing the checkout, you can come in and do that here. And obviously shipping and delivery is a big thing when it comes to online stores. So this is where we manage that. So the settings is basically that back end. It's sort of your toolbox to edit 
all the settings that don't really show up on the builder itself that aren't uh, sort of a visual uh, I guess you'd say a visual editing uh, platform it's more of a uh, settings well obviously <laughs> it's in the settings it's more of a, a back-end kind of edit um, so for instance if we go into legal we can go in here and this is obviously your refund policy, your privacy policy, terms and conditions, and shipping, all of these sorts of things are edited in the back end here in settings. So, and even if you didn't know what to put in the refund policy, you can uh, come in here and, and actually generate a template. So, although mine says replace at the moment, actually let's get rid of one of these and we'll show you. So if we delete all of this, you can say create from template and Shopify automatically uh, generates a uh, what is it privacy policy for you uh, in the back end. So it's got all the information that you need. All you have to do is really go through and edit all these bits and pieces that they might have highlighted and uh, sort of you know your contact details, all those sorts of things as well. All right, so the settings is, like I said, the back end to, to edit all the things that aren't sort of visual. So that's that that's for the the settings and there's a few other options up the top here that you will need uh, most of all when you're starting out is the products because we actually when we build in store obviously we're going to need to put products on there so we need to put collections first normally I add collections first you can see there's a few example collections when I've been doing two tutorials so to create a collection simply go in and create collection and name it so let's just do one now we'll just put in a fan and if we want to actually add it via a tag, we can do that here. And that's going to be the tag. So products must match all conditions. Product tag is equal to fan. I know I'm getting a bit deeper into uh, what Shopify does now, but if we save that, any, any tag, sorry, any product that's added with this tag is automatically going to get, get added to uh, this collection, okay? And oh, we won't, like I said, we won't go too, too deep into that just yet. But this is where the collections are built. This is where we add products. And you can see there's a few different uh, collections, uh, sorry, products I've already added in there. We can import products via a CSV file if we've got a lot to do. Or we can simply just add a product and that will bring up a product page. And we can go in here and manually put in all the information of our title. Uh, our description, all of the different media that we've got as, as in videos or even uh, uh, all the pictures, price, what, the co what it actually costs you. We can go in and do all, all of those sorts of edits. So that's the products and there are a lot of other different sections in here that you probably don't need to know about just yet. When you're first starting out, those are sort of the main ones to, to get started. Uh, when you go to online store, you'll probably use these these few things more than you will uh, up here because obviously you don't have any customers yet. You don't have any orders yet, but this is obviously where you'll, you'll go in and, and see those things. But uh, Shopify do make it very easy. It's it's just these, these menu items on the left-hand side and they expand slightly. So obviously when you press on products, it expands and you've got a few more options and you can start navigating through them that way. Same with online store. You can click online store, you can get to the place where you edit, or you can go down and build new pages. Uh, navigation is an important one. You'll have to come in here and, and uh, edit some of your navigation at some point. And you've got your footer menu, main menu. If we click on one of these, simple to use. Okay, so you can see I've got a bit of a drop down here. Uh, and it's just, this one is a drag and drop interface. So, okay, let's click on this. So to add a menu item, you could say, so we'll put a menu item here and put collection, whatever. Collection, oh, there's, it. there's three there, so four. I haven't added this collection, so there won't be a link to it yet. But okay, we'll just link it to the home page for now. We add that in and you can see that now I have a collection underneath there. And we can drag and drop these wherever we want them. So if I don't want that under the shop, I can just put this collection, say, under home. And we just drag and drop them around where we want them. So this does have that drag and drop interface. Domains, this is where we come and leave, oh, leave, leave, leave the page. We will leave the page. Domains is where we come and uh, actually connect the uh, domain that we want. So your third party domain. At the moment, you can see that this has a uh, my Shopify 
domain at the moment. So DSD demo store dot my Shopify dot com. That's their Shopify domain. If we wanted to connect, excuse me, a third party domain, we come in here and we connect existing domain. And you can see I've already done that for a tutorial at some point. All right. So very, very quick run through, but I just wanted to explain, you know, the sections of Shopify and the fact that uh, it's not a drag and drop builder because a lot of people do ask that question. They say, okay, well, where do I where do I get all these elements from? Where do I get the sections from? How do I put it all together? And that's that's why I wanted to do this video in the first place because that uh, editing section is not quite the same as you would expect when you look at drag and drop builders and all those sorts of things. It's very simple to use, uh, but you just need to know that those sections are static sort of in the left-hand column here. Um, and then we just go in and click on them to edit. So, yeah, very quick rundown of Shopify, but uh, like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a very good understanding of where you go to edit things, why we use Shopify, as in, like I said, the uh, support is second to none, and it's a very, very simple interface. So those are the two main reasons we use it, uh, and it's just, it's simple to use. It's very, very simple to use. That's the main reason. All right, I hope you got some value out of that. If you did, just give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell notification. We've also got some great free training on our website. So if you want to click the link below, it takes you through to two hours or so of great free training on how to build your own successful dropshipping business right here in Australia. All right, I'll leave it there. Cheers, guys. See you in the next video.